Hi everyone, my name is Faye Smith. I'm the owner and lead stylist of Faye Smith Agency. We're a makeup and hair artist agency with talent all across Canada. Here, I'm here today to show you how to style um, curly, curly curls or waves on a shorter hair uh, that is finer. I recently did a, I call it a half Britney because I didn't do the full Britney. Can't quite, can't quite shave this whole thing off. Uh, but yes, uh, curling this hair is very, and styling this length hair is very different than long hair. So I'm going to show you guys what I've learned so far. Cool. Okay, so I have day two hair right now, uh, which on fine hair, as you know, your hair gets greasy quickly. But I hate washing my hair all the time. So my trusty dry shampoo is here to help me out and the beautiful thing about doing curls is, and like adding in all these products is it kind of kind of like masks the fact that it's not freshly washed hair anyway it's actually a bit better so this one's from a, a line called lunata again a canadian brand i apparently love canadian brands and i like my dry, dry shampoo definitely to be an aerosol i like for it to spray in and so i'm just focusing at the roots and just rubbing it in a little bit spraying from you know, probably like a foot away. And just kind of focusing on the top mostly. The underneath doesn't tend to get greasy so quickly. It's, it's the top. I find as a person with fine hair, I tend to like fiddle with my hair a lot for some reason. And the fiddling um, with the oils from your hands actually makes it more greasy. So tip number one, if you have fine hair, try not to touch your hair. It will get greasy uh, less fast if you don't fiddle. So I've got a good amount of my dry shampoo here. It's just freshening things up and it's also giving me a little bit of volume too, which is nice. Um, I am going to be using a, a variety of other products too, but that's pretty much what I start with before I curl. I'm gonna be using a one inch iron still, which is the same iron that I used to use when I did my longer hair. I do find the one inch iron works best on the majority of hair lengths and hair types. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much what I use for everything that I do and I always like a clamp because the clamp essentially acts like extra hands, like your, your third hand almost. So it is good to have a clamp. Okay, I do like to get things done quickly as you know, so I'm just going to split this in two. And so the bottom of my hair, especially in the back is really short now so it's kind of difficult to curl um, especially by yourself because normally with long hair you'd bring it around the front um, and you can't really do that with short hair as much so even if you can just get a little bit of a bend in it it's going to be underneath anyway no one can really see it it doesn't really matter and so i find curling it with straighter ends looks best so i'm just going to clamp on and my iron's going to be vertical and then I'm going to actually leave the tail out and pull it down. And that actually leaves the end being straight. So I'm going to work my way back. And yeah, these pieces are short. So I am just doing what I can to get that in my iron. I'm doing vertical. The tail is still out. And then I pull down. This is also going to make it a bit more of like a wavy look rather than a curl. I find, you know, with the modern look and with shorter hair, like if I make it really curly, I'm just going to end up looking like old and I'm not trying to look old. I'm trying to look young and cool with this, with this hairstyle. So this is the really short hair in the back here. And even if you can just get a little bit of a bend in it and then again, pull down, it's better than nothing. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. My hair tends to fall out easily, so I do wanna preserve these curls as I am going uh, through curling my hair. I really love Design Me's um, three hold hairspray. You can put it on your light, medium, and your heavy hold. So I'm gonna put it onto my light hold right now. I may have just said mold instead of hold. <laughs> um, hold. I always, no, it's in my videos that I say f funny words that I didn't actually mean. <laughs> okay, cool. Now that I've got a little bit of hairspray in here, um, I'm going to move on to the next row. And so I like to part on the side. So I'm going to, first of all, just section off this top bit. And this will be the bit that I really focus on adding the most curls because it's going to go on top. I'm going to actually be a bit more careful with this. For now, I'm just going to try 
and get some curls going in this here. And so again, we're holding it vertical and clamping on at the top first. We're always curl top to bottom and rolling it in, rolling it in. And then I'm actually pulling it down so that the end remains straight. And so when we brush it out, we're gonna have those straighter ends. It's gonna preserve my length a little bit and make me look a bit more modern. Okay, so last section happening here. And so I really wanna make sure that I get a good amount of curls going on here. So part it wherever you want. I like mine on the side. I don't know, I find that the side looks better with the um, shorter hair. I think the center, I don't know, just kind of ends up looking mushroomy and I don't want it to look mushroomy. Wait, is that, yeah, okay. So I generally like my front pieces curling away from the face because I find that that looks way more modern. Curling curls towards the face, kind of, I don't know, the curl gets in your face and then it looks quite, um, Vintage. I'm not going for vintage. I'm going for modern with my short hair Okay, so I think I got the majority of it going on here um, So I just I'm gonna spray a little bit of my um, Puff me dry texturizing spray. Uh, this is a great product because it's kind of like a mix between a hair a texturizing hair powder and a hairspray So what my first step is is to kind of tilt my head over like this and this helps with volume and I'm gonna spray from the underneath. And it's gonna to start to break up the curls a little bit. Keep your iron on in case you need to refine anything. Great. Give it a little shake from the roots here. And you can start to run your fingers through it a little bit. Even throw your head over, just go for it. Whoosh. Yeah, Lindsay can slow more that bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so already this is looking good, um, but some extra products that I like to add in here before I do my hairspray. Um, if you've watched any of my other hair videos, you know that I cannot live without the Puff Me Volumizing Texture Powder. Uh, you're just gonna spray it right in at the roots here and give it a shake. And it's just gonna even more help with this volume. Like I don't generally back comb my hair uh, day to day. Uh, if I was going on a night out, I'd definitely make the effort to do some back combing just so that my volume really lasts. I find without back combing, you kind of need to be always running your fingers through your hair and puffing it back up again through the day. And I don't necessarily wanna be a hair fiddler. Okay, so one more product, actually two more products I'm gonna show you, uh, that I really like. So with, with this curly business, wavy business going on, um, it's kind of nice to like pull some pieces and refine some pieces just to make it more like beachy looking. Um, I really love the Kevin Murphy free hold, medium hold styling paste. This is generally um, a hair product that you can use to style short hair, uh, but I like to use it in lots of my professional styling as well as my own hairstyling it is a paste whoa I need to get another one sometime soon and so it's super super thick so you only need like a tiddly tiddly little bit and just distribute it amongst your fingers it's almost like having a little bit of glue in your fingers and just take individual pieces and just kind of run your fingers through it and it's just gonna make it more piecey in certain areas and it also helps with like flyaways too. And of course, last but not least, I'm gonna switch back to my, my hairspray, but I'm gonna put it onto the heavy hold this time. And again, I find with like fine hair, if you actually tilt your head over and spray and actually just give it a second to dry, before popping your head up, you get so much more volume. And give it a second to dry. Shake it up a little while it's upside down there. And then pop your head back up. And you got yourself some good volume. 
fiddle with it some more. <laughs> you can never fiddle with it enough. And then spray, more hairspray. More hairspray is always good. And now my hair looks so much better. I also love the little tuck with the short hair too. That looks cute. Like a little tuck behind the ear. And if I was going on a night out, maybe I could even put like a little clip there too. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe, leave your comments. Let me know what else you guys want to learn. Thank you and see you guys again. Thank you.